Hi guys, welcome. This is our weekly reading for September 30th through October 6th, 2016. Remember, it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you. And bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing, so see what feels right for you. It could be one sign that brings you clarity. It could be the whole Reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everyone involved in the situation and so on. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you, how you ride. These energetic waves that come through here is always up to you in the end. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave, preparing for the wave, crashing into the wave, riding that wave, or ignoring the wave? It's always your choice in the end. Also, feel free to make this an interactive video with me if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And be sure to check out the links I provide below. Show your love and support to the artists and musicians. And I find there's always further signs and symbols for the reading. All right. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Hi Capricorn, welcome. This is our weekly reading for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, and inquiring for September 30th through October 6th, 2016. I'm going to use the handle tarot to start with and let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels, and energies of love have for Capricorn. This week, for the highest, greatest good of all, one card for focus, clarity, and understanding into the energies of the week and how to ride these energies best. <laughs> Let's see what we have for Capricorn. One card. Hold on, Mannix. Hold on. We have to multitask here, Capricorn. <laughs> all right, so the Mother of Swords in the South. That's the Queen of Swords. So perhaps there is an air sign, um, a protective mommy figure. I feel like she's mature. She's, um, yeah, she's someone who protects, who provides. Maybe a single mom, you know, a single mother. Um, maybe you have a single, you had a single mom, or somebody you know is a single mom. I don't know why I'm getting single mom off of this Capricorn, but I am. Um, and it's Newt. So, um, I, when I think of Newt, I think of her as like the stars, the heavens, as something protective above us. Almost like um, protective angels, energies. Um, you see how she's sort of like protecting what she creates, protecting what she sees, what she nurtures. Um, I also see an alignment in chakras here. I see a lot of star energy. So perhaps there's something in someone's chart, astrology, while well, saying that, the mother of swords of the south, if this was an air sign, it would be um, uh, like a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius energy around you in your chart or thinking clearly, um, protecting children, protecting the innocent, um, learning from past hurts, being a warrior, you know, seeing it all and understanding a lot, being very witty, very sharp, very clear, um, you know, seeing a clear way, the clear path of clear skies, seeing the bigger picture, knowing how to protect, um, seeing through bullshit, um, you know, seeing through lies, seeing through, um, yeah, what isn't true, seeing value and protecting value and helping even like where there were faults, where there were flubs, where there was falling down. She helps you up and she helps you see how to get through that and to get above that and to work, work through something. So this could be a helpful figure around you, a protective figure around you, Capricorn. Um, I feel like this can be you, you know, just, I feel like a lot of ways it can be you, but thinking clearly, um, maybe being a little bit disconnected with situations so you can see it clearly, um, 
trying to look at it through a different perspective, a different angle, looking at something upside down almost. Um, you know, I feel like she would have a totally different perspective perspective of the floor than this perspective here. Um, making a bridge, reaching out, um, something like that. All right, let's go to the Earth Magic Oracle cards and pull a card for Capricorn for further clarity on the Mother of Swords in the South, Queen of Swords for Capricorn. Fog failed. So um, maybe your, you know, I feel like this can be protection. Um, this can be, um, yeah, like a veil of protection, a veil of perception a veil of, I see like different colors. So depending, it's almost like these stars are also like a veil, like a fabric, you know, like, um, like lace and you can see through them. You can see truth. So perhaps the veil is lifting. Perhaps the fog is lifting and you're seeing clearly, or this woman is helping you see clearly. This man is helping you see clearly. It's a general reading. So this could be just waiting for the fog to lift, waiting for the time to come when the sun comes out and you see things differently. Um, maybe things were completely in the fog, completely not clear before, and now they're coming clear. Um, I feel like when things are veiled, it's for a purpose when things are, um, when you can't see something, there's a reason for that. So you can either go internal, go inside of you to figure out something, to figure out the connection, or I feel like patience, maybe have patience. Maybe there's protection in this veil. Sometimes if it's a veil, it's God's protection. It's spirit's protection for us, you know, until the timing is right and we are meant to see something. So um, don't push through the fog. You know, when you have, when you're driving in a car, you see best in the fog with low, beam, low beams, you know, with um, a smaller light that shines um, a light more focused around you in a smaller area. So you can only really see a little bit forward at a time. If you try to pierce through the fog, you just look into the fog and you don't pay attention to what's in front of you. So pay attention to what's in front of you, what you can see. And that will help things become clear. Um, all right, let's go to Maddox. I need to go over here. I'm going to go to the angel tarot and pull another card for Capricorn. And the Knight of Water. So learning to understand and ride emotions. Um, diving deep into emotions, rushing into something, sometimes because of emotions, or somebody else rushing into something because of emotions. But you learn a lot because of this. Um, this is like a younger energy, water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, but it's learning to ride your emotions, learning all about Prince Charming, Princess Charming. It's a general reading. It's rushing into something because of how you feel and having an experience because of how you feel, learning um, to ride these waves. Uh, the Knight of Water isn't he hasn't perfected, she hasn't perfected how to ride all of these waves of emotion yet, but um, he or she is completely willing to get on board and learn. So it's somebody emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, and contemplative, like sweet and sexy, daring and adventurous. Um, like, 
a nice package, I feel like, comes along with the Knight of Water. Um, they're learning, you know, about all their attributes still. But they're still always a pleasant, beautiful, perfect package exactly as they are. And I feel, feel like others recognize that. It's a male or a female, you know, but I feel like it's definitely an emotional sign. Emotional energy. Um, watery energy. Energy that sort of moves with the flow. Um, but water is, has different elements. It can be harsh. It can, you know, crash into something. It can freeze up. It can, um, you know, get through something and you never notice it going by. It's very um, soft. So... The Knight of Water could also be like a message, like an invitation, something like that, like getting on board, getting on the horse with the Knight of Water. But it's falling in love, um, wedding proposals, the need to a balance your emotions, and an invitation to a social event. So maybe there's a chance to get on board something, Capricorn, that, you know, lifts the veil a little bit, brings like the stars out. You see things clearly. You're riding your emotions freely. Um, maybe this is somebody else riding into your world to help you feel a little more free, alive, kind of like you're falling in love again. You know? Maybe you're protected in this situation and you couldn't see it clearly before and now it's becoming clear. You know? I feel like for some reason, maybe it was cold here with this veil. And it, there was like ice. I see like ice crystals. So maybe the sun is coming out and these ice crystals are melting. And it's warming up. You know, it's warming up. And the tide is changing. And this knight or princess is going to bring some beautiful, happy, loving energy into your week, Capricorn. Or this is you. Right, one card. And that's the Eight of Pentacles. So, I feel like Eight is infinity. It's wealth. It's prosperity. It's lessons learned. It's um, digging in the dirt and... Um, Having abundance come back later because of all the hard work you put into something, the energy you put into something, um, the wealth of experience. It's um, doing something new, too. Um, taking a chance. Um, trying something you never thought you could do. And finding out you're better than you ever imagined at it. Maybe this is somebody inspiring you. Um or you're inspiring somebody else younger than you, if this mother of swords is you. It's until you try, Capricorn, you don't know what you can do. Henry James, and it's Van Gogh painting sunflowers. So I feel like there's a lot of sun energy, creative energy. And this is by Paul Gagone, 1888, Van Gogh Museum, Amsterdam, the Netherlands. So... <laughs> I always think of, I always think of this scene like this guy who's like a musician or like an accountant or something got the chance to hang out with this is totally what I just envision every time I see this card like somebody totally different who just happened to know Van Gogh hang out there and he's like yeah I always wanted to paint I always thought it'd be good but I never tried and Van Gogh, Van Gogh is like just grab a paintbrush try. And he's like, I don't know what to paint. He's like, paint me. I'm going to be here for a few hours working on these sunflowers. Let's talk and you paint me painting this. And he did a pretty good job. You know, it's pretty good. It's pretty awesome. Perhaps this guy had no idea his painting would be so good. And the whole experience was fun. It's like he hung out with a friend. He hung out with the artist. He allowed himself to be free and to do something different. And 
who knows where this painting brought this man, you know, afterwards. You know, we're talking about it now, so it did something special. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful for you. I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.